And we're back this morning with Charlene Patton, the Kansas Soybean Commission. As if you could uh, one-up yourself here. Uh, the, these chips <laughs> They've been are depleting. my new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Charlene, you've got some other suggestions for us to keep our diets, right? We do. This is a winning recipe from the Kansas State Fair. Yeah. Uh, last year, each year we have the Heart Healthy Recipe Contest, which would be another opportunity to start sharpening up your recipes for yeah. this year's State yeah. Fair. But I'll let you tell who won this recipe. It's a winner, it's a winner from Margaret Miller of Burdett, Kansas. So she took the second place main dish or entree category. Yes, she did. All right. And you know, during the summer, we love salads, but yes. sometimes we want to do something a little a different little than just a lettuce salad yes. all the time. So you'll love this recipe. We're going to start out with two cups of broccoli that I've just chopped there. You are going to add our soybean product, which is uh, edamame, and mm -hmm. I cooked that and then rinsed it. Perfect. Um, so it would be cold is what we want it to be cold for our salad. Then you have uh, one and a half cups of chopped ham. And one of the interesting things she did with the ham was that you could use it just ham that you might have left from uh, your dinner or whatever and, sure. and use it. But what she did was she sauteed that in a skillet. And it just takes about three minutes or so. And you can see it's kind of lightly brown, yeah. but it brings out a lot of flavor yeah. um, with the ham. Now you have cranberries, dried cranberries we're gonna add. You have red onion. We'll mix that. Look at all those colors. Yeah. I love hot pops. Yes. That'd be fun to bring to like a little gathering or it's, something, a potluck with your yes, church. Yes, it Nick. sure would. And then we have the sunflower seed kernels there that's gonna add some crunch to it. Now we made the dressing and you've got that there and we've got the lid on, I think, tight there. I'll let you shake that. Oh, okay. But to make the dressing, we have um, two, uh, we have four tablespoons of white vinegar, mm -hmm. four tablespoons of sugar. Put that in a saucepan really with cute. some salt and pepper yeah. and just heat it and simmer it till that sugar dissolves. Then when it's cool, put it in our uh, container here, any container that you can put a tight lid on sure. with one half cup of vegetable oil and shake it up. And now we're going to add this to it. How much do I add in here? You can add whatever you want. Um, Let's see how, yeah. how it's coated in yeah. here. Yeah. I always feel like sometimes I do too much, so yes. <laughs> less and is more. <laughs> it's a good idea, um, good. like you said, this is easy to serve with. So mm -hmm. if you could put that on the table and let people add more if they wanted to. But look how nice that's coated. Now I would put that in the refrigerator and let it chill. Sure. You mentioned taking it to a potluck. Yeah. And this would be a great one to do that with. Yeah, that but does look nice. It's, it's a color. wonderful recipe and congratulations to her. I love this recipe and it goes great with our uh, bread that we made earlier. And speaking of breads, what the, the National Festival of Breads coming up? It is June the 8th, Saturday in Manhattan, Kansas. Mm -hmm. We have this free brochure, so if you call our office, it gives you a little bit of the information about it. It starts at 8.30 and goes all day long. And gosh, there's something for the whole family. There's exhibits, it's a national baking contest. The finalists will be there actually baking yeah. um, their final recipes. And then at, at three o'clock will be the final judging. I'll be on the stage with my family. We're oh, gonna I talk about baking with children and families and there'll be three generations of us baking together on the stage with some great new recipes. Nice. Well, we always appreciate you advocating for letting them learn young. Yes. And yeah. you're, a big, you're a big supporter of that. So thank you very much, Charlene. This is looking delicious right now. This is an epic staple of my diet from <laughs> forever and we appreciate uh, you very much. So there's your literature that you can find if you call up the Kansas Soybean Commission. You can find more information at kansassoybeans.org or the phone number right there. We'll be right back. Stay with us.